what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy we are here with some more reactions man as you can see i'm showing off my new mic because i like it <laughs> okay um if you guys have not watched that video go watch the video see me testing the mic both videos both before raw um clean audio and after edit audio with no background music um that i had to drop because a lot of people were saying that the music was too quiet but that's okay um i understand why you guys were saying i knew it was gonna it was not going to be loud that's why i said it's raw audio and it kind of seemed like you know you know i i, I was I, I wasn't aware but i was very aware i did that on purpose that's why it's called raw audio raw audio is supposed to be recorded um not at a high volume but as a, a very nice low audio and then you bolster it during editing because if you record it at a high volume and it's clipping what do you got <laughs> you got bad audio to edit so that's why you don't do that you you you, you know um so that's why i recorded such a low volume and other things like that but let's jump into these monster reactions man's monster intro um as i said man i'm loving this mic from i connected it from i heard how it sounded everything about this mic speaks to what i've been looking for and i had to really c come out the pocket <laughs> but anyways um i did save to get my microphone don't play with me anyways monster johan tenma tenma is doing his due diligence to take out the one and only johan that's been a thorn in everybody's side that they don't know about <laughs> um and you know i saw the comments on the last video you know and i need you guys to comment more man you guys are tripping with these comments man i need you guys to comment more on my videos man you know this is a great great you know um series and i would love if you guys just take the time to you know ask questions a lot of people are telling me about other series that this guy that wrote monster has done you know but i want to see you guys talking about the actual show that we're watching we, we you know i'll keep those in mind that you guys have suggested of course um and i, I you know I, I, we're here we're here so uh so yeah man tenma is doing his due diligence and this story has grabbed me in such a way where you know i'm even talking about it outside of just watching it you know um people who have watched the show already you know discussing the um where i'm at in the series you know just talking about it and i don't have you know friends that necessarily talk about anime that much but when they have seen a series and i talk to them about it especially i want to give a shout out to guts I had a long conversation with him the other day we were playing um call of duty together and we were talking about the series and you know he's one of those he's one of those people that you know when you're talking to him about something that they know he knows that you haven't you know because he's a subscriber to the channel he knows i haven't watched the entire thing you know he's not telling me anything that's going to happen he's not telling me oh wait till you get to this part or you know what i'm saying he's not that type of person so i really do appreciate that we had a discussion about where i'm at in the series this far and it was a very fulfilling conversation so i just want to shout give a shout out to guts and stuff like that and i tell you guys man i'm a really down to earth person if you want to have a conversation outside of just seeing me on youtube videos you can always hit me up on discord you know what i'm saying if you the person that play video games or whatever i have no problem buying the game that you're watching i mean they're watching you're playing and play it with you man i'm that type of person if you want to be um if you're that type of person who you, you can have a conversation and have differences also that you want to discuss 
how you see a point of view that I have that you disagree with and you want to discuss it outside of YouTube I have zero problem with you doing that so I just want you guys to know that that I'm open to that anyways we're gonna jump into these reaction and of course I'll see you for the review at the end um, as I said man I don't talk a lot during my reactions but when I do I try to make uh, a good point if it's something that I see that I need to stop the video and talk about I will Hope you guys have been enjoying the reactions. Don't forget to hit that like button. Let's jump into this. Let's go. Somebody is pushing pushing children off of buildings? なにも覚えていないあの時奥行で何をやっていたのかな少しでも覚えてることをおじさんに話してくれないかなちゃんとお話しなさいマルチンあなた一回の親しげあたって植木に引っかからなかったら死んでたかもしれないのよ。ちゃんと先生にお話しして。もうこれ以上こんなバカなことしないで。そうです。そうです。そうです。そうです。そうです。そうです。そうです。そうです。そうです
僕は丸って言う。痛いよ。何が？その屋台の傷さ。分かったろ。屋上から落ちた時。だ、ダメだよ。何やってんだよ。ここのバッグの中に靴が入ってる。掘ってくれ。何言ってるんだよ。寝て
あ、<笑> ここあした真っ暗だと思ってた。君は何が好物だ。僕はこの前とっても でも死んだら会えなくなる。Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe this. I can't believe this, man. I've I've seen a lot. <laughs> this guy is I, I would think he would leave the kids alone. Like for what reason are you out here trying to persuade persuade kids into Oh, if they survive falling off a building playing a reckless game. Bruh, Yohan is trash, man. He's trash. Interesting guy, but he's trash. We all know that he knows Tenma is coming, like... It's the kids that he, that he, that he, that he talks to at the park. Bruh, you serious? Come on, man. He's the one influencing them to do it.
この前言ってたすごい遊びはまだなのもうすぐ撃ち殺されるかもしれないって言ってたじゃないかドキドキするよいつ頃なのいつその日本人は撃ってくるのねえヨハンヨハン is a trash individual man trash ヨハンヨハンヨハンヨハンヨハンヨハン I can't believe that he's really out here influencing kids to do something so reckless. わたしどもの図書館に寄贈していただけるとは、いや感謝の言葉もございません。私は目が見えなくなり、もはや読むことができない。この書斎で眠らせているより、学生たちの手元にある方がためになるだろう。はい。貴重な本の数々ですが、一
それが気に入ったんですかあらいいえね誰の本かしらちょっと失礼エミリー・シェーベモラビア出版チェコのプラハにある出版社ねチェコにはいい絵本作家がたくさんいますからねでもシェーベって作家は聞いたことないわねあまり有名じゃない人かしらどうなさったのI don't know what that was all about, but <laughs> I think maybe his other personalities have something to do with it. Shikashi, Kotoshi no Natsu no Atsuta to Kitada. Hey, do you want that? Ten mile here. How do you get in? Oh, they trying to take him, take him out at the ceremony. All right. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to the next one. Daisho? Eh, Johann Liebelt san nara kesa. So desu ka. Totsuzen taoreta atte kiita kedo taishita koto nakatta no kana. Ara? あなたよく図書館に来るあなたは大学の図書館の司書のそう彼退院したのよかったあの時はどうなるかと思ったあなたも目の前で倒れたのええ彼本を探していたのそれで私も一緒に探していてそれで突然そうなの叫び声を上げて叫び声絵本手に取ってねこうページをめくっていたら絵本
うしばらく休んでた方がいいんじゃないかもっとも脳にも脳波にも異常はないし全くの健康体医者が言うには貧血か過労が原因だろうってささもなければよほどのショックを受けたんだろうなんてあの医者言うんだところで知らなかったよ頭に大手術の跡があるんだってとにかく今は仕事も勉強も休んでゆっくりした方がいいああそうそう君が入院している間に手紙が届いてたんだ手紙差出人の名前は書いてないんだ<笑>まあ手紙爆弾じゃないと思うよ<笑>なんだい何がおかしいんだ<笑>一体誰からだい赤いヒンデンブルグからさはあおまいガードずいぶんこんぎれいなのが迷い込んできたもんね迷子ちゃんかなそれとも筆おろしかなお姉さんが一から優しく教えてあげるよおいで赤いヒンデンブルグ知らないかなあ,あこの辺だって書いてあるんだ赤いヒンデンブルグあんたその年でずいぶんマニアックなとこまで行ったもんだねこの奥だよちょうだい。<laughs> <laughs> It's just a So she's just sitting there holding balloons. これこれこの顔だ綺麗な顔だねテレビのニュースで見かけたよあんたがシューバルトと一緒にいるところをねマルゴット・ランガーと名乗った後は今度は赤いシンデンブルグですか<笑>この前までは青いソフィーさ名前なんてどうでもいいのさそうだろうヨハン・リーベルトとにかく今はね彼氏が私をそう呼ぶのさこのドアの向こうの彼氏がねねえあんただから変な気を起こさない方がいい彼このドアの向こうででかい銃構えてるんだあっちの方もでかいけどね。お<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>それ言ったよ。あの大富豪シューバルトに取り入るのに、なんとも周到な計画。うん。いや、実際大したもんだよ。以前あんたはファーレンとかいう赤ずを連れてきたね。ところがまさかその後本物のシューバルトの息子が現れるとは思わなかった<笑>かわいそうなのはファーレンだ用済みになった途端すぐ自殺させられちまったいやはや2年がかりとはね2年前実に都合よく死んでくれたもんさ当の丸ごとランガンもっとも彼女が死んで私もずいぶんと恩恵に預からせてもらったがねう
別に彼女とそんなに親しくしてたわけじゃない彼女は町の女じゃないもう足洗ってたからね23度酒を一緒に飲んだだけさ長い年月話す相手もいなかったんだろ酔わせて私がちょいと泣き真似しただけで話すわ話すわシューバルトとの色恋沙汰里子に出した息子の話ところがあの女殺されちまったおかげでこっちは丸ごとランガーになり変わってシューバルトからごっそりいただいたわけさ丸ごとが殺された事件警察は通り魔の仕業ってことにしたがねまさかこんな計画が進行してたなんて警察は思ってもみなかっただろうよあそうそうそれにあのリヒャルトとかいう探偵もかわいそうなことしたねこんなことに首突っ込まなきゃ自殺なんかしないで済んだろうに<笑>あしたはてさて何人やったのやらさてと楽しい話はこれぐらいにして交渉ごとに入ろうかもう逃げられやしないんだ諦めるんだねねえあんた言ってごらんいくら出す聞いてんのかい This woman don't know who she messing with, man. <laughs> she has no idea who she's messing with. 一番の恐怖って何だと思う一番暗いところにたどり着いたと思ってた。話そらしても無駄だよ。でも、その先に、もっと暗い闇が見えたんだ。はあちょいとお待ちこのまま帰れると思ってんのかいもうやめたんだもうシューバルトに興味はなくなったふざけるんじゃないよもう無駄だよ僕はいない人間なんだからなめるんじゃないよあんたあんた出てきとくれあんた、何をラ,ラベルト<笑> ?Bread <笑> I told you, man You don't know who you're messing with Stress the broken bone. What's that? What's that? What's that? そうなんですかあんたベトナム人じゃないだろええおい順番待ちなあんた顔色悪いが怪我人が先だいや私は別に患者じゃないんでえよ座って待ってなって早く見てくれよ先生うちの子が先だよちょっと失礼な,なんだよ順番守れこらあのドクタ
ちょっとお聞きしたいことがあって何度言ったらわかるの外で待ってなさい<笑>今そんな余裕はないの女性しかも聞こえないの出て行きなさい一体このドクター年齢は縫合中なんだから邪魔しないでこのクランケに何かあったらあなたの責任よ大体部の刺し傷かナイフによるものだな縫合はかなり綺麗だだがドレーン管を挿入した方がいい横でごちゃごちゃ言わないで出なければ早くちゃんとした病院に運んだ方がいいちゃんとしたですってここだってちゃんとした病院じゃない見ればわかる君は本当の医者じゃない本当の病院に連れて行けるんならとっくに行ってるわここの人たちはほとんどが不法滞在者か不法入国者よ本当の病院なんかに行ったらすぐに施設を送り本国に強制送還されるここの人たちがちゃんとした病院に行けないで何人死んでいったと思ってるの何も知らないで偉そうなこと言わないでドレーン管を挿入して汚れたナイフで刺された可能性が大きいドレーン挿入留置しないと傷の内部で可能して農用形成を起こしてしまうは,はい12針分抜死してはいドレーン管を中に5センチくらい入れて患者は誰<笑> She exhausted? <笑>気がついたか患者に聞いたよ48時間眠らずぶっ続けで治療してたそうだな他の患者の術後の状態も見せてもらったモグリの医者にしてはなかなかの腕だ君いくつだ17ほどろいたセブンまるで本物の開業稲みのたまたまねここで開業してた医者が道具を置いたまま蒸発してしまって道具が揃っていればできるってもんじゃないどこでこんな技術を覚えた父が医者だったからだった父はベトナム人医師で私を連れて東ドイツに留学そのまま残って小さな診療所を開業してたでも壁が崩壊してそれでも微力ながらアジアからやってきた人たちを助けようとしてたのにその矢先にネオナチを名乗るチンピラに父は殺されたの肌の色が違うだけでただ殺されたアウチ私は一りぼっちになり施設に送られたその後ドイツ人の家に引き取られたでもあの人たちはただの奉仕精神だけで私を引き取ったんだかわいそうな黄色い肌の子としてねだから私は逃げた私小さい頃からずっと父さんを手伝ってた父さんの残してくれた医学書もたくさん読んだ父さんがやろうとしたこと私が継ぐことに決めたのどいてあとは私がやるわこれでよしと。早く直してきゃ無茶するなよはいそれじゃあ次の患者あらかた終わったようちに戻ってちゃんと勉強した方がいいこの国は勉強したい人間にチャンスを与えるあなたどうやら本物の医者のようね
シロとは引っ込んでろって言いたいのねそんなことを言ってるんじゃない私はただ私がいなくなったらここの人たちはどうなるのここの人たちを誰が見るのいやだからお母ちゃんどうしたのあたいの肝が突然あーデアンお母ちゃん撃たれたのにここまで歩いてきたのお母ちゃんが先生なら直してくれるってそんな助けてお願いお母ちゃんを助けてよよかった大丈夫私に任せてお願いだよ先生町の娼婦よこんな目に遭うのはいつもこういう人たちばかりなんとかしてあげたいけどこんなの無理よ手術台にあげるそっちを持て無理よこれこそちゃんとした病院に連れて行かなくちゃ今から病院に運んでいたら手遅れになる私だって限界は知ってるこれはお手上げだわ最後まで諦めるな息のある患者だったら最後の最後まで望みを捨てるな<笑>望みを捨てるな<笑>復興内の動脈が損傷していれば直後から血圧低下が起こりショック状態に陥るだがここまで歩いてこられたということは徐々に血圧の下がるプレショック状態ということだこの重層から見ても脾臓の部分損傷の可能性が大きいつまり輸血をしながら緊急回復手術をすれば望みはあるさあ始めようメスを持て Damn, he's teaching her on the fly. He's teaching her breath. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. ソンショウヒゾウテキスノミデスンダラコウンダタミゴトナオペダタアナタガイテクレタカラドクターテンマンずっとここにいて Can't-stay-man。聞きたいことができたんだ。この新聞記事。青いソフィー、またの名を赤い飛金デンブルグ。この娼婦の殺害現場に最初に駆けつけたのは君だって聞いたんだが。ええ。その現場がどんな様子だ
to deal with a monster. Alright guys Alright so that was episode 33 and 34 of Monster Great stuff man Great stuff I enjoy this anime So much it, It's just such a rich and powerful story you know, we talked a lot about darkness in those episodes. Um, Johan falling over. You know, I don't know what the hell happened to him. Why you think? I don't feel sorry for him one bit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I, you know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, I wouldn't have been sad if he died right there. <laughs> I'm just being honest. You know, um, Johan is one of those characters. And the reason why I said he's trash, man. This man is out here influencing kids to play a game on a roof. Basically, it's like if you fall and you don't die, you are a chosen one. Bruh. This man is unbelievable. And I'm, as I said, it is not revealed which one of the personalities does what. Because it could be that it's the, the bad part of him or the bad personality that's influencing the kids and the good one is the one that's always playing with them. You never know who this dude is and that is an issue as I have way too much hair on my head right now. It's looking like a damn toupee. <laughs> but any case guys, um, this series is, has grabbed us. Whether you've seen it before or whether you're watching it with me now, which I believe a couple of people is watching it through with me. Um, and I really do see the, the similarities of, you know, certain things that happen in real life and, and, and stuff like that. And, you know, slowly descending into darkness is kind of like what Tenma is going through right now because he can't seem to see... Um, He's like he, he, he's losing himself, you know what I'm saying? To pursue, um, to pursue Johan, right? And Johan is already a monster. You know, he has this guy that we know is his hitman um, that takes out these people. And I'm like, she was sitting in that room, and I was like, what are you talking about? I thought she just was just gonna be there you know with somebody in the back room for safety you know what i'm saying because johan is in the room but it doesn't matter but then you out here trying to make demands that's where you messed up because you could have been like you know what man we cool i just want you to know that we cool <laughs> you know what i'm saying i know who you are but we cool i ain't no snitch i thought that's the angle she was gonna go with but to extort bruh you do not extort a person like Johan. He sees everything. He knows everything. And the thing about it is, he thinks that he's going to be shot or killed. And as I said, it's way too early in the anime for them to kill off the main antagonist. It, does, it doesn't make sense. So, for I don't think he's going to die, but I do think... That Tenma is going to, to to get him. You know what I'm saying? He's going to get shot, but I don't think he's going to die. So, we'll see how it goes. Tenma has decided to kill him during the, the ceremony for the books or whatever. Um, the thing about it is that he's, he's setting this up so Tenma misses on purpose. Because, of course, you know, it's a ceremony people are going to be there so it's easier for him to you know he doesn't know when it's coming but he know it is coming so he's preparing himself for it um so as i said johan is a very complicated character to even devise and try to figure out what's really going on with him but at the same time the type of person that he is makes you wonder you know what I'm saying? It makes you wonder. There's an intrigue 
to his character that really goes deeper than what we're seeing now which is going to slowly be re revealed over the course of um the series of course and i think we're just scratching the surface of getting to know who yoan is um i i'm still not convinced that he has two personalities i think it's just him but there's still that angle of the dual personalities we're, we're not throwing it out the window but i don't in my mind i still believe it's just him and that's who he is i don't think he has split personality and as i said i think he's it could go with the fact that he's doing this to throw everybody off you know what i'm saying or he's building his defense per se just in case he gets um just in case he gets caught he can always say hey it was the other me that did this you know so i don't believe that he has split personality but there is still the possibility of him having those split personality so anyways guys thank you guys so much for tuning in as always that is all i have to say about these two episodes man um r.i.p <laughs> to the, the prostitute um lady r.i.p to her you know you don't meet you don't call you don't write johan and tell him to show up you ain't in charge <laughs> you know what i mean it, it, it's like and the way how he was laughing when he got the letter it was like this bitch really thought this what is this what does she think she is out in these streets you know what I'm saying? Probably sent the hitman there to sort out everything before he even got there. You know what I'm saying? And be like, yo, whatever plan she has, deal with those plans. You really think Johan is just going to show up yeah, and don't do anything to secure the place or anything like that? He's like, it's good. It's good. Don't worry. Because I don't exist anymore. And it's basically, he's... He, he, he basically reversed it on her and be like, don't worry about it because I don't exist anymore. You know what I'm saying? It's basically saying you don't exist anymore. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to die right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that was pretty cool to see. Anyways, guys, leave a like on the video. Leave a comment. It's your boy, Terabyte Reacts. I will catch you guys for the next one. Peace, peace.